Okay, I'm Dennis Page from MSA Safety. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the MSA 3100 self rescuer. Okay, before donning of the self rescuer, a quick inspection is required. To inspect the unit, the first thing you do is you make sure it's in date, in its 10 year life, as marked here. Then you would check all the seals are actually intact and you would also inspect to make sure the clip is in place. After your inspection of the device you have to apply it to the miner's belt. Now to apply it to the miner's belt you run it through the equipment strap holders provided. Now to have the self rescuer on the miner's belt you need to have the release mechanism towards the top. Okay. Like so. On the side so it's on the top. Now to apply it to the miner's belt okay so after applying your rescuer to your miner's belt we're going to put down this correct self rescuer at the moment and then I've applied the uh, training unit self rescuer you can tell this by the blue band stipulates the trainer the blue band yep. stipulates trainer yep. no band correct unit now the training unit is purposely is just for training So we can open the device and show you how to correctly done. Should sit nicely on your hip, right here. Now to open the device, you grab the top clip, you push outwards. What you want to do is you want to try and hold on to the clip, come down, First thing you do is you get your mouthpiece and you pull out the plug. First thing you do, you have your white neck strap, you don it straight away. So mouthpiece in, nose clip on, three good breaths. Please be advised, these units need annual pressure testing. For additional service and maintenance requirements, please consult the manual.